the woman behind the mysterious We Shall Overcome billboard. We have learned tonight that actress Anjanou Ellis owns one of the companies behind that sign. 16 WAPT's Tammy Eswick has been researching this story all day. She's live in our newsroom now. Tammy. Yeah, that's right, guys. We've been researching this all day, trying to dig into the background of it and pull pieces of information out. We finally checked with the Louisiana Secretary of State's office, and they tell us that Help Star, Anjanou Ellis, is one of the people behind one of the companies that put out the ad. 80,000 people pass it every day. This billboard is right on the shoulder of Interstate 55, headed south. Take a look at it right here. You can see that it spells out, we shall overcome, but the letters all made up of Confederate flags. Now we've found out that the company behind this sign is in Hollywood, but it has Mississippi ties. Lamar Advertising says the sign was ordered and paid for by an African-American woman. The lady that actually leased the billboard sent us an email stating her intentions. The day it hit the street, those three words made of Confederate flags became a big mystery in Jackson. What's that comes to your mind when you see a sign like that? Hang it up. Hang it up. <laughs> this is um, completely out of context. It seems to be there for no other reason to inflame people, and we don't condone it in any way, form, or fashion. Marty Elroy is a manager with the billboard company. We did a little digging and found out that the company behind the sign is Miss Murda Films. Mm -hmm. What do you know about them? I don't know anything about them other than the lady that contracted says she owns that uh, filming company. According to the Louisiana Secretary of State's office, Miss Murtis Films is owned by Mississippi actress Anjanou Ellis. The Macomb native is known for a role in movies like Undercover Brother, Ray, and The Help. It says Lula Movement is a, another company that uh, she commissioned, and it's a group of artists that put this together. We reached out to Ellis to find out what the mixed message means, but at news time Tuesday, she still had not returned our calls. In Jackson, Tammy S. Week 16, WAPT News. And Megan and Stephanie, as of tonight, we still have not heard back from Ellis, but Lamar Advertising told us that in that email, it said to expect to see more of this in the future. They said they didn't know if that meant more billboards or more advertisements somewhere in Jackson. Still some questions, Tammy. Thank you. Meantime, we're getting a lot of reaction to this on our 16WABT Facebook page. Just some comments. Sarah says... Some people are always looking for controversy. Live and let live. Donna writes, it's doing exactly what it was intended to do. Getting people all riled up. We'd love to hear from you. Leave your comments on the 16WAPT News Facebook page. 